Anyone who works with cows can probably tell you about a time they had to manage calf diarrhea on their farm. The reality is that many dairy and beef calves experience diarrhea in the early stages of life. But why does diarrhea happen exactly? And what are some of the simple things producers can do to prevent this harmful and costly condition? Ultimately, diarrhea is caused when a calf is exposed to gastrointestinal pathogens. These can include a variety of bacteria, parasites, and viruses, including E. coli, salmonella, cryptosporidium, rotavirus, or coronavirus. When these pathogens are accidentally ingested, whether from water, food, or the environment around the calf, they attach to the intestinal walls and cause fluid loss, leading to diarrhea. In serious cases, these pathogens may prevent the intestines from properly absorbing nutrients or might seriously damage the calves' intestinal lining. Importantly though, just because a calf has ingested pathogens doesn't necessarily mean the calf will develop diarrhea. Other factors relating to the calf's overall gut health and immune system play an important role. For instance, a calf that has good bacteria and better bacteria diversity in its gut will be less prone to developing diarrhea than a calf with certain bad bacteria and low biodiversity. Understanding how diarrhea happens is certainly helpful for producers to know. But what's perhaps just as important to understand is why diarrhea is such a big deal in the first place. Diarrhea is the number one cause of mortality in the pre-weaning period causing more than half of all calf deaths during this critical period of life. That's not all. Calves that survive a bout of diarrhea will often experience other long-term health impacts, such as lower weight gain and reduced fertility. For instance, research has shown that calves that experienced diarrhea in the pre-weaning period were more likely to require multiple breedings to become pregnant and often had an increased age at first calving. Further, these calves often have lower milk production during their first lactation, highlighting how impactful diarrhea can be even later in life. These health impacts all add up in terms of cost and lost income for a producer, making diarrhea an economic issue as well as a health issue. In fact, Canadian researchers have estimated that each case of diarrhea will cost $155 based on labor and treatment costs, as well as the cost of calf losses from diarrhea. That doesn't even consider the fact that raising a female calf is one of the highest costs associated with dairy production. So a heifer that does not calve until later in life represents an important financial impact. The best way to minimize these impacts is through some simple but critical preventative strategies. First, you can reduce exposure to diarrhea-causing pathogens by ensuring a clean and dry environment for your calf. Second, excellent colostrum management and a high plane of milk nutrition will help the calf build a strong immune system and a healthy gut, which reduces the likelihood of diarrhea if the calf is exposed to harmful pathogens. It is recommended that a calf be fed three to four liters of high quality colostrum within three hours of birth, and ideally a second feeding is given five to six hours after that. Following this, calves need at least eight liters of milk each day during the pre-weaning period. Finally, it's always a good idea to work with your veterinarian and develop a strategy that works best for you to ensure that your calves and your farm are protected from the impacts of diarrhea.